some of the stupidest and, and, and most obnoxious people in our society are treated as its paragons of virtue. And the most decent and caring people are regularly made to feel, not only made to do all the work, but made to feel that they're of no account and their lives and their feelings don't matter. I mean, it's, it's a system of incredible violence that we live under. Well, a bullshit job is a job where even the person doing it can't come up with a justification for its existence, where the person doing the job feels that if this job didn't exist, either it would make no difference or the world would actually be a better place. I, I've seen a lot of um, surveys that say 37 to 40 percent of people in countries like Britain, Holland, feel their jobs make no difference. If you think about it, it's, it's an enormous number. I was expecting 10 or 15 percent, but in fact, it's about a third. People used to go to movies and watch the idle rich and dream of being like that. Now rich people say, no, I work 18 hours a day. You know, everybody has to say they work. It's like necessary to prove that you're working harder than you want to work at something you don't enjoy to say that you're a decent human being. A lot of people say that, you know, they have jobs where maybe they do one thing a week. But other than that, they just have to pretend to be working all the time. And in a way, that's the worst thing of all. It's not, you're not even allowed to sit there and play a computer game, go on Facebook. They just have to make it look like they're doing something, even though they're not doing anything all day long. It's got to the point where if you enjoy, even if you're happy because you know your work is benefiting others, then you should be paid less. It's people who suffer the most who should get the most money. Lots of people said that, you know, they worked at these jobs that were entirely pointless until gradually they just couldn't take it anymore and they quit and became a musician or went into taking care of children or, or taught math in an Indian reservation in Canada. If they can find a way that they can actually support themselves, let alone support a family, and do something meaningful, in most cases they would. I even heard two different cases of people who had worked in offices and were getting a good income, and they just couldn't stand the fact that their jobs were meaningless. And, and so they quit and became cleaners. And they said they were much happier cleaning the building than they were working in it.